Are you actually recording? Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Hi, my name is Luke Eclipsuhano, and I am one of the staff advisors for K-Bikes TV. This school year for 2020 to 2021, it certainly was a first in many things. It was the first completely distance learning school year. It was also the first virtual spirit week, virtual homecoming, virtual band concert, virtual May Day, and a second and hopefully last virtual commencement. The graduating class of 2021 has four members who are active members of KVX TV. In this video, we sat down with these graduates and we asked them about their experiences in KVX TV. Unfortunately for last year's class of 2020, however, this video will be coming out before their official farewell video is even edited. <laughs> Sorry. But there are just four of them this year, so let's begin. Hi, my name is Jody Ortiz. I'm from the class of 2021, and I joined K-Vikes my freshman year. Hi, my name is Kalana Kili'i. I'm a senior at Hilo High School, and I joined K-Vikes in my sophomore year. Hi, my name is Ashley Lavaris, and I'm in the graduating class of 2021, and I've been in K-Vikes from my sophomore year in August. My name is Cody Stevenson. I'm graduating with the class of 2021, and I forget what I was supposed to say. So I do Hilo High School wrestling, judo, cheerleading, then there's K-Vikes. I'm class president. I've also been in Key Club for the past four years, and then last year I was in National Honor Society. It's honestly been crazy, but I love being a part of each of my clubs. Aside from K-Vikes, the other activities that I participate in is Key Club, Robotics, and National Honor Society. I joined K-Vikes because I was interested in photography. Uh, I joined K-Vikes initially for my best friend. Uh, she introduced the club to me, but once I got more familiar with uh, the capabilities that K-Vikes had, I got really interested in it because I always loved technology. And I saw the opportunities K-Vikes could provide, so I really wanted to give it a try. Because you were actually here when you saw k get started. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then I got kicked out. <laughs> yeah. um, I joined k mostly because I wanted to become a photographer. I remember when k first started, uh, it was only Tyler and Caleb. But it started to grow after they moved rooms. After school, I had no place to go. I had to wait till my mom finishes work at 4.30. And I just felt comfortable in this room and I felt safe. So I think Luke came to our class because he needed more people in K-Bikes. And so he came to our class and he was like, hey, do you want to tour K-Bikes? And so I came into K-Bikes and I didn't think I'd be a part of K-Bikes that day, but then I found it really cool. So I stopped by in the afternoon and they let me be anchor, surprisingly. I don't know why they trusted me, but they let me be anchor. My name is Ashley Lavarius, and here are your announcements for Monday, August 13th, 2018. So I think what stood out to me was that we actually had a whole big elaborate set on campus that I did not know about for the entire first year of high school. Um, I don't know, everyone in k was just so friendly, and I just it was a great environment to be in. So I just, I've stayed here for three years, so. Well, for k Vikes, I have been a member, a president, and a secretary so far. I've also participated in some roles like switcher, director, producer, and many other things like that. I ended up learning uh, editing and uh, filmmaking. I've also understood like the process of live streaming. I remember taking pictures for the lots of the rallies and the many socials that k -Bikes has had. I don't know. I've only anchored. <laughs> I'm grandma anchor. I am the oldest standing anchor. I'm sorry, I was not a one-take wonder. <laughs> but I figured it out eventually. It was so nerve-wracking. But over the years, I've gotten like pretty like used to talking to a camera and like it not being weird. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, as online chairperson for a little while, most of my job was to help advance our online capabilities, such as the website, the app, our newsletters, and etc. The opportunities that KMX gave to me was access to cameras and access to events in which I was able to <laughs> in which I was able to take photos at rallies and lots held around the school. I think the biggest thing that KVX has taught me is to really like break out of my comfort zone and like learn how to talk to other people, use my voice and yeah. <laughs> It's been really great in helping me just learn how to talk to other people, speak, yeah. Uh, through KVikes, we have gotten connections with PBS Hawaii, Naleo TV, and we even got to participate in Mary Mark and other local um, broadcasting stations around the world. Uh, not around the world. That's true though. Oh yeah, yes. I think the first memory that comes to mind is the time that I filmed the entire KVikes with struggles, like I filmed the entire morning bulletin and I was about to leave and the Hinano said that they forgot the SD card in there. So, you know, lesson learned guys. Always put the SD card in before you film. Mostly at the socials we would um, play video games like Super Smash. It was, it was good. It was like a time to open up and get to know more people that were in the club. Oh, I have the best one ever. Um, my first memory is when I entered K Vikes, Luke was gone. So I entered and Makana was in control and so was I think a few other people, but my introduction to everybody was them dancing to Rasputin um, on the projector. So it was a very epic time. Everybody in the room did it. It was even funnier because Makana was filming his video for Luke's return. Wow, that's, that was the first day? Yeah, that was my first day. Jody goes, oh yeah, come inside. Come take a look at the club. I come to look in the club and it's just them dancing to Rasputin. I will say I'm very proud of KVikes because when I came in, we were still very, you know, um, organizing things and everything. But by the time I'm leaving high school, um, they're very organized. Everything is so much more student dependent and it's amazing to see how far this club has come. I've seen the set change like 10 different times, but you know, it's for the better. Um, they went through probably five different teleprompters. Um, and now I have a chair named after me. And they added in a mirror because I always like to look at myself. So yeah. <laughs> I say it really improved. I feel like from a green, like green painted board, um, all the way to our brand new sheets and like, what else? Our new studio is amazing. Um, I think the biggest change is that, well, of course we weren't in person, so it was so weird like not being able to go into the cave bikes room every day, spend time with people on the couch, the infamous couch, <laughs> and just just hang out with the whole cave bikes crew. Like, it's pretty sad. <laughs> But here we are, we're making it work. So I really love the people that we have here. They're all so funny and when we're all together, we make the like, funniest jokes. Even the random noises is just so funny, like we were just making earlier. And uh, it's just like the friendships we create here is really fun and I don't want to lose that. I'm still friends with some of the alumni from KVX as well. So last year, right in April, after the pandemic started, there was a, we wanted to like do a special song, right, for K-Bikes? <laughs> okay, so like, I don't, I, I don't know why we thought this, but like, okay, so we filmed the, the video. So my stepdad's also in K-Bikes, Mr. Masuyama. And I filmed that with him and my little brother. And after finishing the song, I thought it was Maddie's birthday, I swear. Someone told me it was Maddie's birthday. So we told her happy birthday at the end of the video. <laughs> well, it will forever be in K Wake's memory. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Maddie! So I'm I'm wearing my cap and gown. 
because uh, I had to film for commencement. I sang a song and the alma mater and straight vibe. <laughs> Oh, recording everything from Mayday and like commencement things. Um, it takes a lot of time. It's a, like a lot of time to record because you got to record and you got to record again just because they weren't good. And then you got to record again again because just to make sure it's good. So after graduation, I will be furthering my education at Dixie State University in Southern Utah um, to major in nursing. So I plan to attend UH Hilo in the fall to pursue electrical engineering. I am going to community college and entering a photography class. And I know for sure I can pass it and like be more than what they expect because of all the knowledge that I've been given throughout the years. Um, after graduation, I plan on starting at uh, Hawaii Community College, moving over to University of Hawaii, and then hopefully ending up in Japan. Um, although I'm not too sure where I want to end up in career. There's just so many career paths. Um, but I hope to still have technology and all the things I learned from k -Vikes still in my life. To my current members, thank you all for accepting me into k -Vikes and for allowing me to be in this club, this amazing club for the past three years. I learned so much from you guys and you guys probably know so much more than me, but I'm glad that I could be your anchor. And to future k -Vikes members or people who are thinking of joining k -Vikes, it's an amazing club. You should really join it. You'll make amazing friends. And... Don't be afraid to be in front of the camera, because I am, but I'm learning how to kind of be in front of the camera. Uh, adore Luke. Be friends with everybody and memorize how to do technology things. <laughs> Get in front of the camera. Don't be scared. You're gonna you're gonna lose some years really quick if you don't get in front of a camera. And you're gonna wanna see your freshman year just to get embarrassed. Yeah, I lost like I don't even have too much footage because I didn't go in front of camera. So get in front of camera and record. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Get in front of a camera, record yourself, do vlogs, do something, do something with your life. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Go somewhere, do something, get to it, yeah. But also, stay in school, um, focus. Wait, wait, no, not focus. <laughs> stay in school. Uh, learn all you can because although you say it might not benefit you, it does, it will, someday or another. Bye. <laughs> Aloha. Thank you for tuning in for this special event to celebrate and honor the graduating seniors of KVikes TV. Congratulations, Ashley, Cody, Jody, and Kalena. I had so much fun working with you guys during the past two years I was here. You guys are full of personality and it was never a dull moment when you guys were in C117. As you leave Hilo High, remember that you all possess the skills necessary to make it big out there and I hope that the skills you learn in KVX TV come in handy one day. Always remember that we are always here for you between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4.30 or by appointment. Kidding. But remember, to grab a pass from the office first because you are no longer part of this school. Kidding again. Good luck out there and I can't wait to see the positive impact you will all make on the world. No, I wasn't here today. Wait. Hello, K Bikes TV. Anybody out there? Oh yeah. Anyway, for a majority of you seniors, You've been in KVEX for about as long as I've been here at Hilo High School. Crazy, right? I credit all of you, in some way, shape, or form, in helping me transition from mountains high and water so broad, part of the Waikia alma mater, to beneath the tropic skies of Hilo High School. To Jody. Demerit. To Cody, no. I have not given Caleb an F to this day. To Kalena, 
To Ashley, we'll miss you, Grandma Anchor. To all of you seniors, I'll be looking forward to hearing all of the amazing things you undertake in the future. Please don't hesitate to come visit. Thank you. To our graduating seniors, congratulations. I am so proud to have been able to work with each and every one of you. I can honestly say that we have made memories together. And as always, as much as an impact we may have had on your lives, you have made an impact in ours. Thank you for those good times together. I know I sure did when I had to listen to Cody sing over and over and over again for your class song. But I know when you see it on graduation day, it would have been worth it. Congratulations.